Well, Salvatore, every day I wish you could listen to these voicemails. And I know it's pathetic that I'm leaving them for a dead man. But it brings me comfort. Unfortunately, not enough comfort. I can't do this anymore, Salvatore. My mother has taken everything from me. My son is now moving six hours away. I will probably never see my grandson again because his ex-wife is sure to take full custody. My daughter and I have no relationship whatsoever. You were the only person that cared about me. You made me feel loved. My mother has won. She'll no longer have a daughter. I give up. But I will always love you, Salvatore. Thank you for making me feel alive at the end of my life. I can't do it, Joey. I can't go with you. I can't upend my whole life. I can, I can barely be a mom. Come on, what are you doing locking yourself in the bathroom? You know I gotta be somewhere. And visitation rights. Babe. I, I can't blow this off, okay? You're holding me up. We have to go. Just go without me, Joey. You're better off without me, okay? I know you don't want the burden of being my son, who's not yours. I get it. It's okay. Just go. I get that you're getting cold feet, but, you know, it's a six-hour trip. You, I know you're going to call me three three hours in, and I can't come back for you. All right? We, we have to go. You, just gather yourself. You don't understand what it's like to have a son you don't want. You love your son. I made a mistake and now I have to live with it. And I know how you're gonna look at me moving forward because I feel that way about your son. I know how you feel about Chris. Hello? C calm down. Please calm down, okay? I hear you. Come over, it's fine. Please calm down. Lord have mercy. You should have called that baby Boomerang. I can't do it, Mel. I don't mean to be mean to a baby, but I... I don't want him in my life. I need help. Joey won't help me, and I can't go with him six hours away to Serafina Town. I can't. I don't know what to do anymore. You gave that baby up to child services, and now he is back in your arms. That is the universe telling you that you are forced to be a mother. Welcome to the club. He was con though, Mill. I was doing good at work. Me and Joey were getting along. And now every, every, I don't want to do this though. Did you not hear what I said? You're a mother. We're not allowed to cry. We're not allowed to whimper. You understand me? So fix your face, fix your tone, and sit down. You gave your baby away and it backfired. Disgraceful, but get yourself together. I'll sit in a second. I just need to gather myself. I know I'm a disgrace for giving my baby up. But when I was here with you and you helped me with him, you know, you, you felt like my mom. And you, you really helped me. That's why I'm here, okay? I cannot afford to have someone with a warrant in my house, so you're gonna have to explain. Let me get the door. How can I help? Sorry to disturb your night, miss. Call me crazy, but it looks like you recognize me. Well, you have a striking resemblance to my son, Joey. I'm a chef from Serafina Town. I saw your name in the paper in your picture. 
So you're, you were the girlfriend of that guy who died in the, the car explosion. You look like a woman that I have pictures of in my house. You see, miss, um, I never knew my mother because she gave me up as a baby. I think you're my mom. Santo.